How many of the 60 cars sold last month by a certain dealer had neither power windows nor a stereo? And as you can see, we're kind of set up here for a double matrix orgy. So statement number one tells us that of these 60 cars sold, 20 of the cars had stereo, but not power steering, power windows. So all we know is the entries to that one box We'd like to figure out the entry of that box. That's the box we're looking for, but we have no way to determine that right now because we don't have any other numbers in the row or the column. So statement number one by itself is insufficient. Moving on to statement number two. Of these 60 cars sold, 30 had both power windows and stereo. So 30 there, but again, we want to figure out this and we know nothing in the row or the column. So right now, Statement number two by itself is insufficient. Both statements are insufficient, so now we combine the statements, consider them together, statements one and two combined of these 60 cars. We know that 20 had a stereo but not power windows, and 30 had both a stereo and power windows. And so that means that 50 people in total bought a stereo, either with or without the power windows. That means that 10 people total bought no stereo. But we have no idea how that 10 is distributed among these two boxes. And we have no way of knowing because we don't know anything about the total number of people who bought power windows or did not buy power windows. So it still leaves a large region of our double matrix un inaccessible. We have no way to figure out the value that goes in that box, even with both statements. So combined, the statements are still insufficient. And again, if applying the double matrix is something that is unfamiliar to you, I highly recommend checking out magoosh.com. We have a few hundred videos going over the math that you need to know for the GMAT, including videos that explain double matrix in great detail. Both statements combined are insufficient. Answer choice. E.